hi you guys welcome back okay so you guys i am totally new to this whole shop my stash thing and planning out the makeup i'm gonna use all week without having the option to choose other items but i'm going to try to get on the train like everybody else and pick out some makeup items that i can use for this upcoming week so hopefully i'll be able to get through this too much without panicking okay you guys so with your help i'm going to go ahead and jump into this first shop my stash for kk okay <laughs> so let's just jump right in okay so basically just to give you guys a quick glimpse of where I keep basically the majority of my non-palette makeup items that I choose from every week is right in here. These two shelves right here is where all of my face products and things that I need to use that aren't palettes right there. All of this over here, that's like kind of overflow stuff. Eyelashes, you guys know I don't need those. <laughs> but and the rest of this stuff I just kind of pick and choose from my lipsticks and some miscellaneous palettes and whatnot so we're basically going to be focusing on these two shelves down here and I think I should have a container yes this is the container that I'm going to be using for my weekly makeup stash so I'm just going to just place that right there for now and I'm guess I'm going to go in the order of how I do my face. So let's start out with moisturizer, serum, face oil. So this is the drawer of the moisturizers and serums and things like that that I would be choosing from currently. So let's see. I think I use the glassy, the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin quite a bit. So I'm not going to choose that. I use this OK Moisturizer as well. I got this from Beautycon. I use this quite a bit when I got it. So I'm not going to choose that again. I always use my Neutrogena. So I think I'm going to chill on that. My newer, newer ones would be my Saturday. Is this Saturday Skin? Yeah, Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. So this would be a newer one as well as this. Uh, this is the Illamasqua. And this one is kind of like, um, it's like a, yeah, a Hydra Veil type moisturizer. So, hmm, which one do I want to do? I think I'm going to do the Saturday Skin this week so i'll choose that for moisturizer i think as far as serum goes i'm going to use this bare minerals brilliant future age defense renew serum yeah i think i'm going to use this i haven't used this in quite a while so i'm going to use that so let's go ahead and put those two we have a moisturizer and a serum um, I don't really use face oil that often, so I don't think I'm going to choose one this week. Maybe next week. Okay. Uh, what's next? Brows. Okay. Brows, I pretty much use the same thing all the time for brows. I don't really mix it up that much. This drawer is kind of crazy because I like to keep some of my regular lip products, lip balms, you know uh, lip glosses things like that that I use on a regular basis in here I also keep you guys know <laughs> certain lipsticks my elf mocha twist that stays in here for sure for sure lip liners that I'm always using are in here and just other miscellaneous glosses lip balms lip scrubs so uh you know what I may as well take <laughs> my elf out because lord knows i'm gonna be picking that um definitely my ellery lip liner pencil y'all know i'm using that also my color pop 
BFF4. Uh, what is this? Uh, I don't know. Lip liners are hard because I only use like the same type of colors. Okay, so yeah, maybe I will choose this, this Glossier Play color slide. So I'll just use these three lip pencils. <laughs> Very similar in color, but I don't care. We're going to use those three for lip balm. You know what? I think I'm going to use this Glossier lip balm also. This one is kind of like a mint, mint balm. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use this just as a lip balm. Okay, so back to brows. Definitely going to take my e.l.f. brow pencil because I'm always using this. Have to have that. My only other options really are my uh, LA Girl Slim Shady pencil as well as another e.l.f. pencil. This e.l.f. brow pencil I don't really care for because it's kind of hard to... I don't know, it's hard for me to get it to mark on my brows so i don't really use that one i also have this maybelline tattoo studio or my elf lock on liner brow pomade so i think this week i'm just going to stick to this elf brow pencil i've kind of been liking this lately so i'm just going to use this okay for mascara I'm still trying to finish this Thrive Cosmetics mascara, you guys. I'm so sick of this mascara because it just won't end. But I really, really want to finish it. But I think I'm also going to go ahead and include the Balm Mad Lash as well because I have opened this and started using it. So I'm going to go ahead and include this for this week also. For eyeliners, I always use <laughs> my Milani Black Waterproof Stay Put Eyeliner. Um, I also have this one here. I think I got this from TJ Maxx or something. On this focus. Yeah, I think I got this from TJ Maxx. This is, oh, this is by L'Oreal. L'Oreal Silk Kissing Me. So it's just a regular black eyeliner. I gotta have one of those for sure. And I think that's probably it for this drawer because for my lower lash line, I always pick um, out of my colored liners for my lower lash line. So that's going to be kind of tricky for me to choose weekly. It depends on my eye look. So I'm not going to choose that. Okay, you guys. So I had to turn on the flash. It was too dark and my camera didn't want to focus. So um, also for my brows, I always use a concealer to clean up my brows. So I know this looks crazy, but it's, it's an organized mess. So this is what I use all the time to clean up my brows. It is the Wet n Wild, uh, Photo Focus Concealer. And I think I use the color Dark Cocoa. Yeah, Dark Cocoa. This works perfectly for me for cleaning up around my brows. It's the perfect shade, not too light. So, yeah, I pretty much use this for my brows all the time. Eyelid prep. Okay, so um, for months now, I've been using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer to prep my lids before my eyeshadow. But I think I'm going to chill on that for a minute um, because I want to use a regular eyeshadow primer. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this bad habit. I bought this when they were, you know, having their going out of business sale or whatever. So yeah, this is the bad habit eyeshadow primer. And I want to go ahead and use this and see how I like it. So now for primer, for face primer... Um, I have a few in this drawer. I do have some more moisturizers and primers down here in this drawer. It's just kind of like a, a mishmash of primers and moisturizers and stuff. But I have certain ones that I'm really, really focusing on right now. I want to choose two primers. So I'm going to choose this um, Revolution Pore Blur. 
primer because I just bought this. I used it once and I really like it. So I'm going to take this for primer this week. And <laughs> if you guys watch my channel, you know I got this Farsali liquid glass um, in my BoxyCharm. And I want to try this out. I can use this as a primer or a serum. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this out. It says Radiant, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try this one out. Okay, before we move on to concealer, let's go ahead and pick a foundation. Okay, you guys, so this is my little foundation carousel. I love this thing. I got it from Target. It's a Lazy Susan, you know, that's supposed to be for the kitchen, I think. But, I mean, honestly, you can use it for whatever you want. So, anyways, before I make you guys dizzy, <laughs> let me pick out a foundation <laughs> and quit playing around. Okay. Uh, L'Oreal. Now, I have not used my L'Oreal in quite a while. Oh, bars. So, this is the L'Oreal True Match in the color C8. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that one. And maybe I should try a high end since I'm picking a drugstore because I wanna pick two foundations. So yeah, maybe I will do, here we go, my ABH foundation. So yeah, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and in 490W. So these will be my two foundations for this week. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have my foundation, I can go ahead and pick out a concealer. It might be a little difficult to see in here because it's like close quarters and I don't want to pull the whole thing out. I have been using my uh juvia's place if i can get to that yeah i've been using my juvia's place like crazy so i'm gonna give her a break and i've also been using my elf like crazy so i did get this new concealer in my boxy charm so i think i'm gonna go ahead and use this from pretty vulgar and see how that works out if i don't like it i'll just grab another one you know, because I'm not going to use anything all week that doesn't work for me. But what color is this? Undercover Shady Lady. Okay. So, yeah, we'll use this for the week. Okay, now it's time to pick out some powders. You guys, I really don't have that many, um, you know, like skin tone powders. I need to pick one for under my eyes. I've been using this Becca Hydra Mist. For the longest ever since I got it you guys see I'm almost out I need to just go ahead and finish this huh so yeah um I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and use this for under my eyes now for my face powder I typically use my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use powder but I think what I'm going to do is switch it up and I'm going to use this Kiss Professional Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. I got this from the Beauty Supply and it looks like I paid like about $7.99 for it. I have Toffee Caramel. So I'm going to use this for a little while and hopefully um, I remember it working out pretty well. So I should be okay with this. Now for bronzer, these are my two favorite. You guys know my Hula Toasted and my Morphe Glamour Bronze. But I'm going to try and chill on those for this week because I've been using those for month, months and months on end. So I'm going to come down here because I do have a little bit of overflow of uh, bronzers, highlighters, and things like that. So I think what I'm going to do is use these minted duos this one is season one which i'll show you guys in just a minute and this one is season two okay so this is what season one looks like and as you can see it is a 
bronzer and highlighter duo very very pretty and this is season two another bronzer and highlighter duo but just slightly ever so slightly deeper I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference yeah you can see the difference so I'm gonna take season one and season two because it just kind of depends on how I feel as far as how deep I want my bronzer to be. So these two will be my bronzers. Now for blush, I think I'm going to keep it simple and just use a couple of blush palettes. So I got this new kind of blush and highlighter palette. Um, from BH Cosmetics. It's the Glowing in Grease six color blush and highlighter palette. And this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous, you guys. So, so pretty. So yeah, I'm going to use this. And I don't really need to pick out highlighters because I have highlighters in there as well as in my bronzer duo. I have highlighter. But I also want to have another option for blush. So I'm going to take this Morphe 8C palette here. Very, very pretty. As you can see, it has like the plummy tones. So yeah, I think this will be a good combination for that glowing in grease that has kind of like the warm peachy shades. This one is really pretty. So I'm going to take this one as well. And of course, they're not going to fit into my little container. Okay, so I don't need to choose a highlight because I already have highlight and blush. Let's see, as far as contour, uh, contour is something I don't do all the time. So I don't even know if I really need to pick out a contour, to be honest with you. These are bronzers slash contours. Um, Yeah, I'm going to have to dig in here and try and find me something for a contour. Hold on one second. This is one that I got from Carity quite a while ago. It's a Carity contour kit, and I actually busted the highlighter in there. You can see the highlighter is gorgeous, but I did have to repress it. Um, but there's some pretty nice deep contour shades in here. Yeah, maybe I'll choose this one. I'll choose this one instead of the Black Radiance because I never use this. So, yeah, I'll just throw this in the mix as well just in case I need a contour. Okay, you guys, it looks like I basically have my face um, setting spray. Okay, so this is where I keep all of my setting sprays. This is really going to be easy for me because I did get a new sample setting spray from cover effects this is their high performance setting spray and i got this sample when i ordered my duo um blush and highlighter little compact so i do want to go ahead and use this so i'm going to use this for my setting spray this week i usually like to pick two setting sprays so you guys know i use my morphe all the time i think we're going to go ahead and do the wet and wild rose three and one primer water today so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use this you know what i'm thinking actually i probably need to use this i got this in a monthly subscription box this is from skin and co it is truffle therapy radiant dew refresher mist yeah i guess i can use this like as a refresher as well not necessarily as a setting spray just because you know these tend to kind of go bad after a while so yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and use this as well as my kind of like refresher spray oop i almost forgot lipsticks you guys it's hard for me to choose lipsticks because it typically has to match my eye look or, you know, I have to feel comfortable in the lipstick shade. But there are some lipstick um, collections that I purchased and have not really gotten that much use out of just because I tend to gravitate to the same thing all the time. 
So one of those are these Revolution Pro lipsticks. Now I purchased these thinking, okay, yeah, I'm going to use these for the fall. They're really gorgeous. Um, but I haven't really been using them. I've used them maybe once or twice and there's some really, really pretty colors. So I think I'm going to put these in my shop, my stash for this week. I'll just sit those right there for now. I also have these Colored Rain lipsticks. Oh my gosh. I got these in the Colored Rain, you know, mystery box thing that they had going on and never used them. I always forget about them. So, and I put them right in front. That should tell you something. I put them right in front so I wouldn't forget about them. But the thing I don't like about Colored Rain lipsticks is you don't know what color it is. You have to open them just to see what color it is. So, yeah, that makes it kind of difficult, but I'm just going to grab all of these as well in hopes of using those. And let's take a quick look at these. So these are what the Revolution Pro shades look like that I have. Very pretty, nice variation, a nice kind of mauve pink, bold red, and a beautiful burgundy. So that's not bad. Let's take a look at the Colored Rain shades. And these are the Colored Rain lipsticks. So kind of some similar shades going on, which is, you know, I don't really mind. These are a little bit more creamy as opposed to the matte ones from Revolution. So I don't mind that at all. That really light, bright one is kind of like a light peachy uh, matte lipstick. I could kind of tap that in the center of my lips with a dark lip liner and just kind of work that out. And that one is a really pretty deep, deep uh, plum shade. So yeah, not some bad options. I can work with these. So, okay, we'll try and use these two collections this week. Okay, you guys, so the hardest thing for me to choose would be palettes, but I know I need to pick a couple of palettes. The reason why it's hard is because you guys know I do try out a lot of palettes, test out a lot of palettes. And because of that, um, I usually just kind of go by how I feel. But since I'm trying this Shop My Stash thing, I think one of the palettes I'll choose for this week will be one of my new Revolution Color Book palettes. Uh, gosh, what do I want to do? Blue and green or purple? I'm going to do the blue and green. So, okay, I'm going to choose... I'm only going to choose four palettes and hopefully I'll get to all of them within seven days, but I'll use the color book number zero five, which is the blue and green. Um, another palette that I know for sure, for sure that I definitely am going to use or at least want to use this week is this one. <laughs> yes, ma'am. The Plan and Makeup by Alondo Jam Rock No Limitations. Yep, yep. <laughs> you are getting used this week. Okay, the other palette I know for sure that I want to use this week is going to be a gift from my girl, Lily. This is the Viseart Dark Edit Palette. Yes, ma'am, we will be using this this week. You know what? I kind of want to use one of these new kind of like um, palette and face makeup um, situations that I bought over the holidays. So I have the one from Pure and I also have this gorgeous one from You Can Be, the Pretty All Set. Okay, so this is the one from You Can Be. This is the Pretty All Set one. And then this is what the one from Pure looks like. So I don't need to open that up. Hmm. I think I want to try out the Pure one. So yeah, that will be the last palette for the week. Okay. So those are my palettes for the week. Okay, you guys. So this is all of my Shop My Stash stuff for this week. Um, I think I have everything covered. All of my face products, moisturizers, primers, foundations, blush, highlight, bronzer, blah, blah, blah. I picked out my lipsticks, setting and facial sprays. I have my face palettes, blushes, 
bronzers, highlights, and I have my eyeshadow palettes. So I think I am good for my Shop My Stash this week. Hopefully everything goes well. I don't anticipate any problems. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in this kind of disorganized, crazy first Shop My Stash. <laughs> Hopefully the ones in the future will get better, but I'm trying you guys. I'm trying, okay? So this is the products I'm going to be using this week and that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!